decision today on whether to extend the August 31st deadline to get out of Afghanistan. The U.S. reported its most evacuations even as chaos continues outside Kabul's airport. Eric Rung is here with the latest. Eric. Well, good morning. The Taliban is warning of consequences if U.S. if the U.S. rather remains in Afghanistan past a negotiated deadline. Regardless of the administration's decision, military leaders continue to ramp up flights out of the country as threats of violence persist. For the first time in a week, the U.S. says it has met and exceeded the number of evacuations out of Afghanistan. The last 24 hours, as you saw on the news, uh, more than 10,000, well more than 10,000 evacuees moved. I'm very, very confident that we'll, we'll sustain that effort and improve that effort, to be honest with you. My commitment is to ensure that airlift is never the constraint. The roads getting people to the airport, however, still remain dangerous. Now there are growing risks of a terrorist attack. Right now, to our forces at the airport is a serious threat from ISIS-K, which we're trying to deal with. Nobody wants to see um, anybody else hurt. And, and certainly nobody wants to see anything that could impact uh, our ability to continue to conduct this evacuation operation. Yeah, yeah. The speed of evacuations has increased due to negotiations with Taliban commanders. However, they signaled they may move to shut down the airport. Close to 40,000 people have already been evacuated. The uh, significant majority of those coming out are eva Afghan evacuees because the total number of Americans in country was a relatively uh, limited number of folks. So in terms of percentages of the 37,000, uh, the substantial bulk of them are Afghan evacuees, but there are also have been a few thousand Americans who have already been evacuated, and we're working on the rest now. The White House has made it clear it would not leave Americans who want to come home in Afghanistan. First of all, I think it's irresponsible to say Americans are stranded. They are not. We are committed to bringing Americans who want to come home home. We are in touch with them via phone, via text, via email, via any way that we can possibly reach Americans to get them home if they want to return home. President Biden does have a meeting with the G7 leaders today. Afghanistan, a big topic of that meeting. Military leaders say they want a decision from the president on if the U.S. will remain in Afghanistan past the deadline today so they can start making their plans. Dan. Eric, thank you.